Our top story, the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. The hunt, now centered in the remote southern Indian Ocean, is headed into its third week with nothing to show for it. But that may be changing. Let's get the latest now from Holly Williams. She is at the Australian Air Force Base where the search flights are headquartered. Holly, good morning. Good morning, Anthony and Vanita. We have breaking news at this hour that the Chinese may have spotted some of the wreckage of Flight 370 somewhere in the southern Indian Ocean. But 1,500 miles off the coast here in Western Australia, search planes continued to scour the seas for the third day in a row. A new satellite image released by the Chinese authorities and taken four days ago appears to show two objects, one around 70 feet, the other roughly 40. They're 80 miles from the two blurry objects spotted by an Australian satellite last weekend. At first light this morning, a team of six military and commercial aircraft began the search again. They're hunting for the two blurry objects spotted by a satellite, one of them around 80 feet long, the other 15. So far, it's the only credible lead since Flight 370 disappeared along with its 239 passengers more than two weeks ago. But it's in one of the most remote corners of the earth, a four-hour flight from Australia's west coast and in seas that sometimes swell to 50 feet. Australian aviation expert Jeff Thomas told us the search is the most difficult ever undertaken in aviation history. To put it into, say, an American context, it's like flying from Chicago to Los Angeles, searching for two hours in a sea that's something like a North Atlantic storm, and then flying back to Chicago. This is about as tough as it gets. Since radar has proved ineffective in the rough weather, the pilots and their crews are now relying on their own eyes, trying to spot the debris in the churning ocean. Well, these pilots, in many cases, the planes, they're down to several hundred feet off the water. They're kind of jumping the swells, if you like. It's, this, is, this is tough. It's, uh, and they're very, very skillful. The Australian Deputy Prime Minister visited the search team today and warned there's no certainty that the two objects cited were part of the missing Malaysian Airlines jet. There is uh, a lot of ocean debris floating around the globe uh, continuously and containers do fall off ships and so there are any other number of potential explanations as to uh, what this, these items actually are. Uh, the, those who've done the technical analysis believe that they're, they're of interest in relation to uh, this disappearance. And um, even though this is not a, not a definite lead, it is probably more solid than any other lead in the, in, around the world. And that's why so much effort and interest is being put into this search. And if the objects are the wreckage of the Boeing 777, strong currents could already have dragged them hundreds of miles from where they were last seen, or they may have already sunk to the ocean floor. None of that has deterred this international effort. Military planes from the US, Australia and New Zealand will soon be joined by aircraft from China and Japan. They will continue their efforts to solve the mystery, mystery disappearance of Flight 370. 